Hi there. Let me ask you a question today. Is there anything you're trying to work towards, but it is not working? You have tried everything you can think of, but nothing is working. And now you're at the point of giving up. You feel like this will never work. I'd better throw in the towel and forget everything about this endeavor. Let me challenge you. Before you give up, just consider what if you are only three feet away to getting that one big dream that you have been working towards? Could be you only need one more sales call to win that big lifetime deal for your business. Or you are just one date away to win your soulmate. Or one networking event to meet your next employer. Or even one online course or one book away from the skill that will save your life. If you haven't met before, my name is Mary Karuga from Tevri Consulting, the place where we inspire, equip, and support you to grow. If this is your first time in my YouTube channel, please subscribe for more videos like this one to help you with your self-development, your success, and your prosperity. Today, I want to tell you a story about a man called Dabi. This man was introduced to us first by Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich. As Napoleon Hill narrated, there was once a man called Darby who was caught up in the gold fever of the 1850s. In 1850s, everyone was caught up with the gold craze. Everyone was mining and selling gold. And Darby also got caught up in this craze. And he also thought that for his life to change, he has to go mine gold and sell and he will become a millionaire and he went luckily he found a vein of gold in his mind and he started following that vein he got to a point where he was totally convinced that there is gold and a lot of it near where he was but he figured out for him to reach there he needed a lot of equipment and because he didn't have and he didn't have the money luckily he went back to his friends relatives and everybody he could find telling them to come and help him to mine the gold. And he promised them, if we find this gold, everyone will get an equal share of that gold and we will all become millionaires. So people joined him and they started mining for the gold. But as they continued to follow the vein, it reached a point the vein disappeared. Most people gave up. And even Debbie at some point gave up. But he had acquired all this equipment. He was wondering, now what will I do with them? So he looked for someone to buy the equipment. So he met his buyer who only offered him a hundred dollars to give away all his equipment and his dream of ever getting the gold. And Dabi accepted. When Dabi went home, the new owner knew that for there to be a vein of gold, there is gold somewhere. So he decided because he was not an expert in gold mining, he will look for the services of experts to understand how gold works so that he can know where it might be. So he went and sought for advice and he was told if there was a vein, there really is gold in that mine. He told him sometimes the earth shifts and the gold vein can shift three feet or four feet either to the left or to the right. So they advised him just go and dig either to the left or to the right three feet and see if you, you if you don't find it then there is no gold but if there is gold you'll find that vein back so with that enthusiasm this man went and started digging for his gold and he only dug three feet to the left and he found the vein and eventually a gold mine bigger than any other mine that existed at that time he became a millionaire instantly as Darby continued with his family in poverty. So we can all imagine how Darby felt when he found that the new owner has now become a millionaire from his own mind that he gave up on. This is not a very unusual story. I believe every one of us has a story similar to this one because in our lives, we keep on starting new things and going very far with our ideas until it reaches a point. Due to so many rejections, disappointment, failed attempts, we just reach a point and just feel like giving up. And in most cases, we give up. 
but have you ever considered what if i'm just giving up when i am only one call away from my breakthrough maybe you are just one call away from that sale that will save your business maybe you are just one date away from your life partner maybe you are just one online course away one book away from a skill that will save your life don't give up yet let me tell you one of my own stories i once owned a small restaurant where i was selling fast food and it happened in the year 2007 and around 2008 there was this post election violence and everybody was operating from home so there were no customers i used to cook and the food would go bad and i went through so many losses i just decided to close when i closed i tried to look for somebody to sell the business to at first i couldn't fight but finally i found a lady who was willing to pay me only a hundred thousand kenyan shillings for all my equipment to take over my hotel and because i was so desperate and i had given up and i didn't even have food in the house a hundred thousand seemed like a lot of money so i picked it and i went back home and i went on with my life struggling suffering looking for jobs here and there doing this manual job this small business this what trying my luck then one day I passed via the restaurant that I once owned. It still had even the same name, Lucky Fast Food. I couldn't believe my eyes. The place had gotten big. This lady had even extended to the next room and started a huge hotel. And I couldn't understand because by the time I was leaving that place, I knew and I was convinced that a hotel can never succeed in such a place. How come this lady succeeded? And I was so curious, I asked her, how did you get to this? And she told me, do you know, just a few months after you left, that building over there, they opened a college and now all the students eat here. I serve them breakfast, break time, and even lunch hour. Sometimes we don't even have enough to feed all of them. And that is why I have grown this much. Just like Dabi, that was me giving up too soon on my dream and leaving it to someone else to enjoy millions and millions of money when I continued to be poor. Could this also be you? What is that one thing that you really want to accomplish but you find yourself having fallen back just because you hit one obstacle or two obstacles? Today I want us to cultivate three main disciplines that we will see to it that we never give up on our dreams. Number one is patience. We have said many times and we have heard that Rome was not built in a day. And that is the truth. Rome was not built in a day. But I love the full version of that saying, which we never go to that extent. But the full version says, Rome was not built in a day, but they were putting a new stone every single minute. And that is how we should build our life, slowly by slowly, but make sure every single day we are doing something small to take us closer to our goals. Then the discipline number two is persistence. Persistence is refusing to give up. It is the art of just being stubborn, just saying, I will be resilient. I don't want to know what is happening to me. I don't want to know all the obstacles I'm facing. I have to push through with this idea until I reach my desired destination. For example, you may be trying to apply for a job and you have sent so many applications and you have not received any positive feedback go on persistence is moving on despite all those challenges despite all those rejections and you continue sending those applications day by day it could be your business you are trying to to start and you have already found a, sp a place and you have opened the doors but no one is buying continue going to that business every single day don't care that people are not coming they will come if they see you are persistent what happens is that, for example, in a business, once you have opened the doors, customers will first pass there many times looking to see what is it that you are selling. And it could be 
they are interested but they are also afraid to come and ask you but if they see you there week after week they will get the courage they will see you are determined and they will get the courage and join you and come and buy from you but most of the time we just get tired so quickly we give up and that is why we never succeed the third discipline i want to talk to you about is about continuous improvement continuous improvement is kaizen i don't know whether you have heard about kaizen kaizen is a business term that was coined by toyota when they were trying to increase their profitability by reducing their wastage and improving on their processes and they came to know that you don't need to overhaul your whole process in order to succeed you can do it gradually you can do it step by step small tiny changes here and there and then finally you will succeed in the same way we need kaizen in our own lives if for example you are looking to save for your big project you may see today that you don't have the money that you need to save for that project and you may feel like giving up but don't give up yet what you should do is start small even if you will be able to save only a certain amount even if it is just one percent of your salary every month just do that and incrementally that one percent will grow to an amount that really can help you to continue with your project in the same way you might be wanting maybe to lose weight but because of your schedule you cannot find the time to exercise the, the time to go shopping for good meals and all that don't worry start small ask yourself what can I do today to continue being in the path of losing weight, even if I'm not doing anything big? And that could be as small as, let me just walk one kilometer today and continue. Tomorrow walk one and a half, the other day walk two and continue like that. Also, in terms of eating, don't cut down all your calories at once. You will fail. Try small by small and then you will succeed. As Desmond Tutu once said, there is only one way to eat your elephant, and that is one bite at a time. Don't try to eat the whole elephant in one sitting, you won't manage. But if you slice it into small dices, and then you eat those small dices, you'll be able to finish one giant elephant. In the same way, look at your goals. Stop seeing the bigger picture of something that you cannot afford right now. Just start asking yourself, what can I do today to move closer to my goal? And when you start working on it, don't give up. Please don't give up when you're only three feet away from your bigger dream. Don't be like Dabi. Thank you so much for watching or listening. And I hope you have learned something of value. The lesson for today was don't give up when you're only three feet away from your goal. If you have gained anything of value from this video, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And also share this video with your friends and relatives so that they can also learn. Also, in the description section of this video, you'll find other videos just like this one that will help you with your self-development and your self-growth. Make sure you check them out before you leave. Thank you and see you soon in another video.